We're going to go into <clears throat> Leviticus chapter 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of separation from for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. <clears throat> Let me reread this again. I'm going to reread verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then sh she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. <coughs> and in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. So, um, so seven days she, uh, she, she's unclean. Um, oh, oh no, um, I haven't, I haven't read far enough into the Bible to see if se seven days, uh, she, uh, I'm not sure if she should be abstinent or not, but I haven't read far enough into the Bible yet. <clears throat> But it says on the eighth day the fle the the flesh of the male um, shall be uh, circumcised. But um, let's uh, keep reading, um, verse four. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty three and thirty days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. <clears throat> Let me reread verse 4. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come to the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. <clears throat> I need a calculator. There are... Oh, this other phone doesn't have a calculator. Oh, well. Anyways. A woman that's pregnant for nine months um, really isn't doing much of anything except for staying in the house anyways. So if you take... 30 times 9, um, I guess that's kind of close, <clears throat> but anyways, I'm not sure what this verse is saying, I'll reread verse 4 and see if I could get it, <clears throat> and she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying, 3, in thirty days she shall touch no hollow thing nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. Oh yeah, that's right. She has to uh, she has to breastfeed the child and all that stuff um, until the until the child is uh, fine again, and um, the lady can uh, go into the church or the tabernacle with uh, with with her uh, with her child. <coughs> He'll, he'll still be in the stroller, of course. Let's keep reading. Verse 5. But if she bear a maid child, then she shall be unclean two weeks as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying three score and six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled for a son or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb for the first year for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or turtle dove for a sin offering unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation unto the priest. Uh, let's see. Verse 5 says, Maid child. So, I don't know. Is it like a... 
is it like a wedlock child? I'm not sure. And what's an offering? What she have to offer for? <clears throat> huh? Interesting. Who shall offer it before the Lord and make an atonement? I mean, let's keep reading. Verse uh, seven. Who shall offer it before the Lord and make an atonement for her? And she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the law for her that hath born a uh, male or female. And if she and, and if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles or two young pigeons, the one for the burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. The one that kind of got me right there was the word made child. Made child. So is it like a, is it like a, like a, so is made child like a, like a wedlock child? I'm not sure. But whatever the sin is, she had to, she had to offer it. Uh, offer, offer, you know, the offering. Anyways, I'm done with uh, chapter 12. Thank you very much for chiming in and have a good night.